Thank God. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to your Thursday. Sorry, I am two minutes late. Apologies, apologies. But I uh, really needed this coffee, so <laughs> I'm sure you understand. Thursday is, we're nearly there now to the end of the week, and um, I hope that you all had nice Wednesdays and that you all have a nice cup of coffee with you today to do a lovely little drawing that we're going to do. It's just lovely. And I will link the um, link the illustrator that I have been inspired by too. And you can take this wherever you want. And it's also inspired by um, something that I saw yesterday, which was just like, oh my God, I'll tell you about it as we do the drawing. So I hope that you've got your pen and your paper, whatever you're using to drawing. I'm using whatever you're using to drawing, whatever you're using to draw. I've got my fine liner pen and my watercolor paper because I'll be doing some watercolor paint too. So let's get going, shall we? Let's do it. So, whoop. I tried to make it pretty with my little dried flowers there. <laughs> Did it work? I hope I can go this way. Okay, so. I hope that you're all well. Oh, morning, Catherine. Oh, there we go. Coffee, that's what we need. I made myself an extra big one, even though it's just me, because um, the small cafetiere like, doesn't quite fill my massive cup. <laughs> so, so greedy with the coffee. So I have a little bit extra, which is nice. Okay, now then, let's begin. I've got my little reference here. I didn't have time to do a... a reference sketch so I'm using it straight from the illustration so let's see how this goes bear with me everyone okay so we're going to start today by doing a kind of teardrop shape at the top left side of your page and it's about this big so it's quite a big teardrop and it's going slightly to your left if any direction like that okay now we are going to draw a little curve towards the bottom imagining we're cutting it in half from the direction so it's in quite a bit of an angle from about there we're going to draw like a little curve just a little c shape there and then we're going to bring that curve around to about slightly bigger than this distance here, if that makes sense. So I'll show you, kind of comes up and around like that. So it's slightly bigger, maybe almost double, almost double the distance of this. Okay. Then we are going to draw another little curve in, in line with this curve, so going directly horizontally across and about the distance of the thickness of this, we're gonna go about there and draw a curve coming in the other direction like that. Just a little, little backwards C, okay. And then from that curve, we're gonna bring a line that comes out a little bit and comes straight down, if not a little bit to the right and curves under a bit there too. So this line is similar distance of that line, if not a little bit shorter, it doesn't matter. Uh, either way, however you do it. Okay, now we're gonna identify about the center. So identifying where this line comes down and we're gonna draw a line here, except we're gonna move it slightly to the left. So kind of in the center of this bit and we start with a little curve from about halfway that comes down and curves around at a similar point there. Okay, now let's move over to this side and we're gonna continue this line coming down, except it's gonna roof out a little bit and then curve down and around. Just a very subtle movement there. 
coming down, roofing out about halfway, coming down and around. Then we can bring this up. And again, it can have little kinky roof. <laughs> and coming around here, just a little bit higher from where this roof is there, coming in. Okay, now we're gonna do the same with this one, with the roof, so it can come out quite thick down the bottom, come in a little bit there. And then we need to connect this line and this line. So you can do this by gradually growing it growing it up in a steady steep like that or you could have like a little kind of wobble mark there as well okay now I can connect this little bit up as well to here now I'm gonna come back to this point and I'm gonna do a shape that's similar to this shape but on this side and only do this side of it not this side of it so I can start it from about here bring it around and in so it lands at about the same point here if not a little bit shorter like that okay now this bit is a little bit um, more detailed. So I'm gonna do a squiggly line that comes down here. So just watch how my, my pen goes. So I'm gonna go slightly out, slightly in, down and out, around and in. <laughs> so let me show you closer. So basically you're aiming to get a little pouchy bit there, comes in down to a point, and around and then this bit I'm going to bring up to complete that mark there and then on this side I'm going to do a, just a little line to signify that this top bit is poofy in case you can't tell what it is yet it is well let's make it obvious so we're going to come back to this point here and we're just going to do a little line that ticks up make it a double line and then on the top we're going to do a big or oh, this size or however big you want little circle little poofy circle there okay now we're going to come back to the face of this little poodle that's right guys little poodle and we're going to place the eyes. So on the illustration, the eyes are placed up here on this line. I'm going to put mine about there. I'm just going to do two circles for now. And then the little nose comes down at this point here. Okay, you can just do a little black mark if you want to. And then the little mouth comes there. So mine looks a bit like a demon dog at the moment because it hasn't got any pupils. So let's give some pupils. And there's a little dog face. Now I've left the top bit free because you can do whatever you want with this. On the illustration by Christina Micotti, um, she's put like a little cap on the um, hat. Let me, let me tag the illustrator. Christina... Yeah, so you can follow her on Instagram. Um, so she's put like a little cap, but I thought it might, might be nice to put like a little crown or a little, I don't know, sun hat or any kind of, any kind of thing. So maybe I'll try and draw a big sun hat. So, but you can go rogue and do whatever feels right for your little pooch. <laughs> Don't know if this is even gonna look like a sun hat. I'm just going rogue myself. Is that cute? It's quite cute. Did 
Do you like that? Put a little straw element to it, a little crisscross. But whatever you want, you go for it. You could just make it turn it into a normal poodle head. With a fluffy, fluffy design. And then we also need to come down and do the feet and the um the last leg. So the last leg comes around here and that's just going to come down in a kind of way like this so you've got your kind of skinny bit and your floofy bit coming up like that to be honest this is a lot wider than the illustration <laughs> the illustration has her kind of condensed in a little bit but whatever we do our thing and then the cutest bit of this illustration actually I can show you on my phone this illustration is what I'm working with. Excuse the light ripples. How cute is that? But how cute are these little feet? Oh my god, they're so adorable! Little fluffy feet. So actually, I can leave that kind of there. Oh, that's a bit distracting, isn't it? Anyway, you've seen it now, so that's what I'm working from. The wonders of Instagram, you guys. And the reason, so I'm just going to do little kind of paws that kind of mount a bit like a Pringle, a Pringle shape, you know, the crisp Pringles, a beaky shape. Adorable. And the little claws. And the reason that I am doing this is because yesterday when I was out and about, in my neighborhood I walked past a dog walker and she had eight dogs with her and she was just like absolutely loving life and I looked at her like oh my goodness I'm so jealous I'm gonna give her a couple of eyelashes to make her elegant looking um can you imagine being a dog walker? And she had like complete control over the eight dogs and they were all so different they were like different sizes actually I tried to draw her, draw them in my sketchbook. Let me show you my attempt at drawing her, her dogs. That was what she looked like with her eight dogs. All different sizes. So cute. And that's me on the phone. So that's why I was like, I have to do a dog today. I have to, absolutely have to. Mm. No dogs with, um, with hats, so. And now... You really have to use your imagination to do the background, guys. So where is your dog going to be? I'm not sure. I'm going to do some um, decoration on the dog. Actually, dog um, poodles have kind of like curly hair, don't they? So maybe I'll do some little curls, little ringlets. That doesn't really look like ringlets, does it? It looks like, I'm not sure what it looks like. Let's do some elegant curls on her ears. And of course, if you have it in you, you could do more dogs on this drawing. Now you know how to draw a poodle. I'm gonna do swirly bottom bits of the leg. The more I, I know about dogs, the more I know that poodles are like such a lovely breed. They've got lots of good qualities um, and they don't shed their hair very much and they're quite chill. Well, I think they're quite chill. I know that Labradoodles are crazy. <laughs> well, they're in the cafe, I used to work in there were two Labradoodles that would come in with this lovely woman. And one of them was like super chill. And one of them was absolute maniac. And even if you gave him the slightest hint that you were going to give him some attention, he would like jump up and get overexcited. But because he was such a big, heavy dog, he would like 
<laughs> fall into everyone and everything and like knock coffees over and like knock into people and push people's bags and stuff like unknowingly it's just really clumsy so you just like be going over giving the coffee to the woman being really careful not to give any kind of hint to this dog that you were going to give it attention but it's really hard because all you wanted to do was like give him a massive hug because he was so cuddly um yeah super cute gonna do a little suggestion of a rosy cheek there maybe a little bit on the other side too maybe i'll do a def defining I kind of regret that that's fine Maybe I'll put some pearls on her. Very regal. I feel like I've gone safe with my design, but you could totally go wild. I'm excited to see what you guys get up to. Okay, now the background, I think I'm gonna have to just put her in some kind of like um, garden, like with lots of lovely flowers and stuff, but I'm gonna keep it quite chill because I don't wanna be doing this I thought this would be a really simple over in five minutes drawing but alas maybe I'll put a tree here just to balance out my composition a little bit because I moved her a little bit too far to the left of my page maybe she's waiting patiently here for a date That's a tree. And then there'll be kind of blossomy bits hanging down when I paint it. Don't put too much uh, detail there. Kind of be the just in a field, I guess. Let's keep it simple today. Let's keep it simple. I can't think and I'm going to make some stupid decisions, but I'll put a little flower here. Maybe two. Too much pressure on that one if it's just one. Maybe you put three. Ooh. My neighbors, I hope they're okay. Alrighty, let's paint. Where are my brushes? There we are. So I'm going to paint my background first. I think I'll do like a greeny bluey background. Is it ambiguous? There's lots of water. And I'll leave the top bit nice and crisp and white so that it can look a bit like blossom or something. So I almost want her to be a white, a white poodle. A little white poodle underneath a little blossom tree. But of course, when you're painting something white, and ever just completely white, there's many colors hiding. If you look closely. So we'll go in and add a few kind of marks shadings and stuff. Can't get over those cute little feet. So adorable. Little doggy feet and little doggy teeth aren't little, you know, like little Highland Terrier or yeah, Terrier dogs when they show their bottom teeth. I just think it's so cute because it's like a little bit human. I sound like a freak right now, but it's true. 
so cute. I used to have a border collie and she used to get so excited when people would um, like arrive at the house or just if going for a walk or whatever. That she used to smile and like snort because she couldn't control her excitement. It was so cute. Putting little touches in there. I quite like this effect of wa watery green. Let's put in some kind of pinky shadowy bits. You know, like um, when you get like rinses in gray, gray hair, you get like a pink rinse or a purple rinse. I always remember from the film Grease when, was it Rizzo got a, like a rinse in her hair? And I thought, oh, that's so cool. So cool. Well, she's got a pink rinse, this, this little doggy. She's got style. So really subtle. But of course, whatever color springs to mind for your doggo, you do. It could be bright. It could be multicolored. I've gone for this sophisticated look today. Maybe a little pink feet. And of course you can check out Christine Moretti, Mokotti, Mikotti, Christina Mikotti on uh, Instagram and see the reference image for this and uh, all of her other work, which is very nice. I always see lovely things on her profile. I would recommend checking her out. She's very well known, I think. She's got a lot many followers. I'm gonna paint my little sun hat. I always I always like the look of these sun hats, but they're always a pain when you're going on holiday because you can't really like pack them. So they always come out all mangled or you have to wear them on the plane. And for me, it's just not worth it. <laughs> so I just don't, you know. Just paint my little tree bit here. But yeah, how lovely to be a dog walker eight dogs to look after and just have a nice day outside with all your dogs well I'm assuming she's a dog walker and they're not all her dogs I mean can you imagine looking like owning eight dogs would be expensive because all the food and they weren't they weren't small not all of them has anyone ever owned eight dogs like without it being your profession just for fun. I mean, I, I just want one dog, really. Desperately, but... Got to wait till things are the right timing, right? So the doggy has a good, good life. Thursday musings on dogs. Sorry if you don't, if you're not into dogs and you're finding this very boring, but you're welcome to tap out. I'm going to put a bit of pink in my blossom. And a little pink in my flowers to, to just top off my Thursday morning wake up chill motivation for creating and starting my day I'm feeling ready now god knows I need this to get me going in the morning otherwise I could just 
feel very unmotivated to just do nothing in the day. A bit more of this. I'm kind of liking how this is going. Getting the impression of a field. Oh, look at this beautiful, beautiful bit that's kind of uh, gone out to dry. So there we go. Let's leave it there for today, Ness. That's enough. We have our beautiful little poodle dog. I hope that you like yours. I'll come in and, and paint my little chain um, afterwards. But yeah, there we go. There's our Thursday motivational painting drawing. I hope that you enjoyed it and you have nice little poodle illustrations that you can be proud of. Maybe you can gift them to someone else who loves dogs as much as you and I. <laughs> I'm just assuming that you do. Um, have amazing Thursdays. I'll be here for Friday's edition. Tomorrow um, we'll be doing something really fun. Trust me. So take care of yourselves. I hope you have a nice coffee with you and I hope that you enjoy today. Let me know your feedback as always and send me pictures of your, um, of your uh, work if you want to. So take care. Bye.